What we find today is an economic debate where a lot of economists are very dedicated to one particular model of downturns. But again, if we go back and look at the very worst downturns, what we tend to see is a lot of different problems. Let's think about the recent Great Recession. It's pretty clear to me that there's been a shortfall in aggregate demand, credit contracted, households had less wealth because people's homes were worth less, because people lost their jobs. There was this cutback in aggregate demand. Wages did not completely adjust. There's been higher unemployment. The aggregate demand model there, to me, definitely applies. And at the very peak of the problems, our Federal Reserve System actually was pursuing a fairly tight monetary policy. And this made the aggregate demand problem worse. That all said, I don't think our recent Great Recession is simply a Keynesian or monetarist or aggregate demand story. I think real business cycle theory has a lot to say about the event. One thing we have seen across the board in a lot of countries is that what economists call the risk premium, it has gone up. Investors are more cautious. People are more afraid that something, some terrible economic event will happen that they hadn't foreseen. There's more worry about so-called black swans. So the risk premium is higher. We have a sector banking, which we thought worked pretty well. And now we realize it had been working really quite horribly. So there's been a decline in the perceived quality of financial intermediation and also a significant real shock to housing and construction. So the real business cycle model applies too. On top of that, I think the Austrian model applies somewhat. There was loose monetary policy in the earlier part of the decade. It may or may not have been the main cause of the boom in the housing bubble, but it was one cause, it made it worse. You had the Federal Reserve and monetary policy feeding something and encouraging it when they should have been leaning against the wind. And when you have Keynesian, aggregate demand, monetarist, Austrian, real business cycle theories all pushing in the same direction, first an initial boom and then later a subsequent bust, and the economy has a lot of distinct problems, that's exactly when you get the biggest messes.